So what we're going to report on today, Chessington Halloween have revealed dates for 2020 and I'm going to start predicting what they could add for the 2020 Halloween event. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogstable, but Bill for the Bodies and welcome to another Halloween update. Now this is a Halloween update from Chessington Halloween. Now this is on some 2020 dates that have been revealed and I'm going to also start predicting uh, the 2020 Halloween lineup uh, by looking back at this year's lineup and also what they could add or change. Now before we get started, uh, make sure you like the video if you love it, comment down below your thoughts and theories, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, share the channel all around the place, all over social media and make sure you go check out all of our videos over the last few days, we've had plenty of uh, videos uh, to tickle your fancy. We've had Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Thought Park, Twos and Free, uh, Sarkany Emmy. It's all been, it's been all going off, all going off. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for some more videos coming up in the future. Obviously, Cedar Point's got a big announcement in December for next year. Um, obviously. Uh, I app uh, this week, so I'm going to get hopefully by uh, this weekend I should get some uh, videos about IAPA stuff that's been announced. Um, the next videos I recall will be on the Wednesday, and that's only because of uni being the priority. So um, I'm pre recording all of these on the Sunday that's going out over the next couple of days and the next few days. Uh, so Wednesday will be the next day to actually record something new, fingers crossed, and um, hopefully we'll get some stuff by from IAPA at this point. Uh, so it should be pretty cool. But let's get into this Halloween update there from Chessington World of Adventures Resort on Halloween 2020. So, let's have a look at the details then from Chessington Halloween's dates for next year. So according to the Chessington website, uh, Halloween dates are the 9th, the 11th, the 16th, and then up to the 31st of October and the 1st of November 2020. So three separate dates in October and then it runs from that third separate date all the way up to the 31st of October and then that first day in November as well. Uh, so good dates for a Halloween event. If you guys didn't uh, go to the event this year, you'd have no idea uh, basically what was at this year's event. I didn't go, uh, but I managed to sort of pick up on what was here. Uh, new for 2019 was of course Spiders. Uh, it sort of it wasn't in the same location, I don't think, as Curse and Lost Tomb, or it might have been, comment down below if, you, if I'm wrong, but it definitely, it definitely replaced Curse and Lost Tomb on the lineup because it didn't come back for this year. Uh, of course, Creepy Caves Unearthed, including Creepy Caves After Dark, uh, the more extreme version, and my god, the reviews from that. One of the most extreme experiences in the world, some people were saying. It was unbelievable reviews. So I've got a feeling those two are going to be coming back. I think Spiders might come back as well, because it was new. The Haunted Halloween show, the live show, that might get updated. Uh, that was on the uh, Gruffalo Arena, uh, the, live, the Gruffalo Live Stage Arena. Um, so maybe that'll come back with a brand new storyline. Uh, and of course, you had Trick or Treat Wood Topsy Turvy. That's like your um, path, choosing like young adventurers choosing their path. Uh, the like to take past the bewitching tree, uh, so it's a bit like, a bit like a, not really a treasure trove, but like a walkway kind of thing, uh, like a trick or treat wood kind of uh, walkthrough kind of experience. So that was pretty good for kids, uh, from what I hear. Um, so it's definitely sounded like this year was a great event. Comment down below if you were at the event, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a good event. Uh, Spiders was a good, a, a solid, uh, from what I hear from reviews. Spiders was a good solid attraction this year uh, for Halloween. Uh, Creepy Caves on Earth was great as usual. It was one of the it was the best one there uh, last year. Best there again this year according to the reviews. And the After Dark one is just the most extreme thing you'll ever experience apparently. Uh, so Chessington again, it's another Halloween event that I really want to do because of that Creepy Caves After Dark. And of course Chessington is a part that I haven't yet done. I know I haven't done it yet. Um, you know, I'm still yet to fly with the vampire, spin round on Dragon's Fury, uh, splash down on Tiger Tiger Rock, um, you know, ride the Gruffalo, 
Uh, go visit Room on the Broom this year's brand new attraction replacing Hocus Pocus Hall. Uh, we spoke about that in the UK theme park season review 2019. Make sure you go check that video out. It's about half an hour, so uh, get your popcorn for that one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but overall, it sounds like this year's event was great, and I think next year's could be around. I'm predicting next year's event is going to be around about the same kind of lineup. Maybe a few adjustments here and there, maybe an extra maze. Who knows? Uh, but thank you very much for watching this small Halloween update from Chessington Halloween. We've got some more uh, to come with Thought Park Fright Nights dates uh, for 2020, so we're going to get on about that. Uh, later in the week, towards the end of the week, so stay tuned for that video. But for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, friends.